Seth Widener here. Today I'm going to show you how I made my own underseat storage box. Instead of spending 170 plus dollars online, I decided to build this one myself. Today I'm going to show you how I built it. Put four pieces of 3 16 plywood. The tall ones are seven and three quarter inches, and the short ones are four and one quarter inches tall, and they're all 52 inches long. There are some cross pieces that range from about two and a half to three inches wide, and they're all 15 inches long. I have six here. I've cut enough material for front and back and braces make two of these. This piece will be the side panels. I'm going to take it to the bandsaw and make this angled cut. I need four of these for my two sets. To cut the notch out of the middle of these, I'm going to use the table saw to cut each end. I've clamped them all together. I'll hold them vertically in the sled and then that'll make them even all the way across. After making a few passes with these vertical in the sled over the table saw, now I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw now and take out the chunks. I had a couple scrap pieces of this trim and I've cut it to length so that I can glue and brad nail it my front and back pieces and that'll give me something to glue and nail my side pieces to. This is the front my left hand and the back is leaning against the glue bottle. So the main frame is assembled. Once the glue dries I'll trim off these front posts and now I'm gonna add a couple cross braces probably one right up here in the middle and then one kind of split space on each side. These are my cross brace pieces. You can see the little molding pieces that I've glued and nailed to each end. I'm going to add them to the bottom. Here's one painted. I used flat black spray paint, Rust-Oleum, the double coverage, and then a can of clear matte finish. drying. I've actually made two of them. When I put the seat down, the box is just inside this plastic piece on both sides. And then the front is just a couple inches, inch and a half or so from the front edge of the seat and there's just enough loop on this side to be able to pick the seat up. This will keep everything stored under my back seat from sliding forward every time I hit the brakes hard. <laughs> 